I've been watching you since you started, and I don't understand anything. All right, because I keep getting, I keep getting, are they covering FTDs? And uh, what's the other question? Is this the FTDs? When do they usually cover FTDs? So let me try to dismiss all of these questions simultaneously. And then 500 more times after this is over. Um, this exposure period is for gamma exposure. From options. As is, you know, November 19th, the run that happened after that, the run that happened in August, May, Feb, last November. Okay. All of these, all of our big spikes in price action over the last year have begun with gamma exposure. Now, whenever we have a lot of volatile price movement because the stock is illiquid, that then creates FTDs as they use synthetic positions to hedge that exposure and or cover it, right? And those FTDs then happen afterwards. So exposure creates FTDs. The FTDs happen later in the cycle. Okay. Fuck you, Carl. Explain what causes gamma exposure. Uh, writing naked options and having the price move. No, these, this is gamma. We're, we're, we're in a gamma exposure period from quad witching, uh, What do they clear FTDs with? Mostly, prob probably mostly CNS if the volume is available. I mean, there's still gamma exposure even if they hedge properly, right? Um, just less, far less of it. So exposure equals synthetic hedge equals FTDs. Sure, close enough. How is gamma exposure different from delta hedging? Delta hedging occurs while the contract is still open. Gamma exposure is what happens when the contract was not properly hedged. Or if the contract's value was higher than the hedge. All right, that seems like a sufficient explanation. <laughs> 